Hello class, in this video I will show you how to do your intro or outro music for your audio introduction. You need to locate your music that you want to use first. And you can do that by using a song that you already have on your computer. And because we have to think about copyright, we're only using a small section of it. And this is something you'll learn about a little later, but you can use a certain amount of works as long as you're not using the whole thing. So in this case, we're not using the whole thing, so you could use a commercial song that you like. You can go to a website called CC Mixter, and that will provide free music for you to use. You can also go to Creative Commons, which is another place to locate music. And if you know how to download audio from YouTube, you can download audio from there if you want. And if not, you can just do a Google search and you can learn how to download audio from YouTube. However, you get your song, get it on your computer so that you can import it. Now, I'll open the file here, and you should open your Audacity project. This should be your narration, your recorded voice. Once this is open, go to File. Make sure you go down to Import. If you choose Open, you'll open a new window. So go to Import and choose Audio. And then I'll just grab some music that's already on my computer. And this is the basic music that comes with this. So you shouldn't use this music. And the only reason I say not to use this is because it's sort of bland in that sense. Try to be a little bit more creative with your music choice. Now, the next thing you want to do is to figure out, well, what section of the song do you want to play? And once you know that, we'll go up top and we'll use a tool called the selection tool. And you want to highlight the section of the song that you want to use. So we highlight it. Go to edit. You can also use your keyboard sh shortcuts. You notice this is on the PC, so it's Control X. On the Mac, it's Command X. And then once you cut that piece out, you'll notice the file shrink a little. We'll delete this because we don't need it anymore. The next thing we'll do is paste the section that we just cut. So we'll go back to edit. And again, here you can do Control V on your computer or Command V on your Mac. And we'll paste. And now that it brought this little piece in that I cut. We'll go back now and highlight this portion. We're going to copy it. So I'll just use my sh keyboard shortcuts now. So Control C on the Windows or Command C on the Mac. Once it's copied, click right here where you see the cursor. And then do Control V on your Windows machine or Command V on your Mac and paste it. Go back up to our tool section and this time we want to use a time shift tool so we'll click on this this will allow us to move our audio file so i want to move this over here and then i want to come up to the narration and move it like this so at this point it's just a matter of you figuring out how you want the music to play so do you want it to sort of overlap with the narration and start to come in as you start to talk or start to fade out as you start to talk and then start to fade in here as you are as you're ending what you're talking about and at this point this is purely creative it's up to you how you do this part and if you want to do some effects on this like have this fade out we go back to the selection tool and then we highlight here and we would go to effect and we can choose to fade out now notice how this is set up so it'll play here and it'll gradually get lower and then your voice will come in and that's where if you overlap it it'll start to fade out as you start to talk and you just have to figure out well what's the perfect place for that to be and the same thing here you can fade this music in if you want you can fade in the beginning of this you can fade in your narration on this part only so if, if I only select that part whatever effect I put on it will only be on that section so let's say I fade that in and you'll notice only that part changed I go back here and you may put that like this and now it's just a matter of you like I said just figuring out what's the perfect place to match these up and what happens here is that when I push play it'll play this part first and that'll end then your narration will go and then I'll get to this part and the music will start to come in and this will fade on out so another thing that you can do is to have the music play throughout if you choose to do that if you choose to have the music play throughout while you're talking you got to make sure the music is low enough to where it does not interfere with your voice, but it should be just loud enough so that the person listening can hear it in the background. But you want to err on the side of having it a little bit lower than having it too loud because then it starts to interfere with your voice. 
And the way you lower the sound is to use these channels right here. So you can just click on this slider and move it left. And the same thing here, you can move this one left. And if you need it to be, another way to do that is to select the envelope tool. If you click on this, notice how anything I had highlighted just changed and it's, it sort of condensed it. So it'll make the volume a little lower. So you just play around with it until you get it the way you need it. And when you're ready, then you want to save your project again because you still want to keep your project file. Save project as you added some new content. So you want to go through this process of making sure that you still have your AUP file with the new content. I'll just click cancel here. Then you want to go back and choose export the audio. And this will make the MP3. And then you only want to do that when you're perfectly satisfied, satisfied with your audio in terms of how the music is coming in and then going out. And then it's done. And if you have any questions, please let me know.